Rohan Solzonic after beating Drafte in overtime. Uh, your feelings? Oh, emotions, emotions. I was happy, really happy. This whole tournament is like a big journey for us and I'm really happy we played four games against uh, American team, North American teams and uh, in all games we were in the points, you know, and it's uh, a little bit sur surprisingly for us, but uh, we're showing that we can play really and uh, beat them too, you know, they they they, they great game, uh, great uh, teams uh, play uh, we play against, uh, but uh, we still beat them anyway. <laughs> Uh, in this uh, playoffs game, you were losing two nothing, but you were able to bounce back. You were able to to equalize and in overtime to score a game-winning goal. What does it tell about the mental strength of this team that they did not give up? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's uh, really surprisingly because I'm not real their uh, this team's coach. You know, I, they put me because uh, their head coach uh, went to the world championship. And I'm kind of sub, uh, substitute for uh, that coach, and it's really surprising me that the, these guys showing me really great attitude and uh, character, you know, in these uh, tough games, you know, against uh, North Americans, especially, they are like uh, showing real great character and it's really surprisingly and it's uh, for our uh, country it's uh, I would say really important because you know our country is pretty small and if they're gonna grow up grow up it's gonna be very important that we will have character guys in national teams you know so I see a lot of greats and uh, good character <laughs> I like it I hope we it's gonna help us move forward Okay. Well, okay, Tom. So you've just beat uh, Drafting in a playoff game. What's your feeling after? Uh -huh, after I'm really one? happy because it was so exciting game. There was a lot of goals and moments. It was a lot of crazy. Uh, that game didn't go well uh, from the beginning. You were losing to nothing. Uh, what was the mood uh, on the bench when you were uh, training? Um, um, the coach was uh, was. Um, was trying to make us ha no not happy but uh, to feel the game and that's why we just felt the game and uh, we were believing each other and that's why because that because that's why we were winning and scoring goals. What does it tell also about the mental strength of this team that you didn't give up? So oh, we always believe each each other because. Uh, be because um, not after, but I don't know that word. But before the this tournament was a Riga Cup, where we played with a very uh, strong team. Um, before final, we played them and we lost one seven. But in final, we won them in shootout. And we because we were believing each other, and we don't stop believing. Overtime loss to Latvia selects so probably pretty frustrating loss. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Everyone wants to go on. It was uh, a great experience. So everyone here really enjoyed the tournament. It was very well organized, and uh, our our team had a pretty uh, rough start and really turned it around. Uh, as we got deeper in, we we had 21 goals in the last three games, and uh, we feel like we accomplished a lot, even though we're not uh, moving on, and we came a lot closer as a team. Mm -hmm. Despite uh, the rough start that you mentioned, you, you were leading to nothing in this game. Uh, but what happened there? Um, they, they, they. Uh, I, I don't recall uh, what turned it around. Just they got two goals, and uh, the game was really tight, and there was no goals, as you know, in the third period, and it was uh, just a a nail bite type of game. Everyone was on their toes, wondering who was going to win, and uh, it was good action and. Yeah, congrats to Lafia, they're a good team and classy team and uh, we hope they do well.